This week's word of the week is going to be a uh, root face. A uh, very common term in the welding world. If you don't know what a root face is and you're in the welding world, that's not good. Uh, I just, the other day, I went to somebody and I said, increase the face on that, and they gave me a blank look, but they were brand new to the, to the welding world, so it was justifiable. But if you're in the welding world, you need to know what a root face is. It's a very common term, very basic term. Um, all it is, is to go over here, is a, this is a bevel that we did on a, um, for a groove joint. So uh, it's just this flat spot right here that they're put, usually put out on the grinder. Somebody put it out on the mill if you're doing something with really tight um, parameters, but it's just a, uh, a flat spot. This is one without a root face. So basically it's coming down to a point. You would use this in something like if you're using backing. If you have a backing bar on it, you want to come right down to a point uh, and crank it up so that that weld wets in and you get full penetration on that. Um, eighth of an inch, I just wrote that here. Um, usually you don't go over eighth of an inch. That's usually about the max for a root face. Um, the root face is incredibly important when you're doing an open root um, groove weld uh, for a couple reasons. It's directly proportional to penetration. And it can be too much or it can be not enough. What does that mean? If you need to get a full penetration weld, you got to have, uh, you can't have a pinhole on an open roof uh, weld if you're doing some weld testing, right? So uh, it's got to be full penetration all the way around. Uh, if you're looking to increase penetration, so let's say uh, you're not getting through, you make this smaller. If you're blowing holes in it, you make this bigger. That's why we're saying that's directly proportional to penetration. Uh, so it can lead to either too much or not enough. And when you change your root face, uh, you could change this just a tiny little bit. If you're blowing holes, let's say, and you increase it just a tiny little bit, then you might not get, get through. So, I mean, it's very uh, tight on its tolerances. You move it a little bit, it makes a big difference. Uh, so if you don't know what a root face is, I would study it 20 times a day until you do. It's a very basic term, but some people, they don't know it. And, uh, you definitely need to know what a root face is if you're going to be in the welding world. So what I'm going to do is go out there, I'm going to cut a plate just like this, and you know, not, not drawing, obviously, have a real plate. And then we'll put a little face on there, and you can just see kind of what we're talking about if this uh, illustration doesn't get it through. But uh, So we'll go out in the lab, and uh, we'll, we'll cut one. This is the plate we just beveled. It was tough to get the light on here so you could actually see the face, but you can see it right there pretty good. And all it is is that flat spot that we put at the edge of that bevel. So hopefully that explains what a root face is. Common term, very basic term. If you don't know what a root face is, make sure you study up on it or I don't know. You got to know what it is. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to TV Weld. We'll see you next week.